Hey all, it's Matt from Style Factory, the go-to site for digital marketing advice. In this Ahrefs vs Moz vs SEMrush comparison, I'm going to highlight the key areas you need to pay attention to when choosing between these three SEO tools, and discuss which tool wins in each. Before I dive in though, please do take a moment to like this video, hit subscribe and click the notification bell. This helps us out and will give you easy access to all our SEO resources going forward. And don't forget to check the video description too. This contains a host of really useful SEO resources and links to trials and offers for Ahrefs, SEMrush and Moz. Ok, let's kick things off with a look at the search data you can access with these three platforms. Search Engine Data Most of the key search data provided by all three products relates to Google. This is hardly surprising, given that over 91% of all searches are currently carried out using this hugely popular search engine. However, in the case of Ahrefs, you can actually perform keyword research for 8 additional search engines, including big hitters like Amazon, Bing and YouTube. Although the data provided for these search engines isn't as extensive as what you get for Google, it's nonetheless helpful. So, when it comes to the number of search engines you can work with, Ahrefs takes the win. Project Limits Ahrefs, Moz and SEMrush all let you create projects that allow you to keep tabs on a domain's keyword rankings, broken links, technical SEO and more. And quite a lot of key functionality can only be accessed via these projects. Ahrefs and SEMrush's entry level plans are more generous than Moz's when it comes to project limits. They let you work with 5 projects, while Moz's plan restricts you to 3. But it's worth noting that so long as you can verify a domain, you can actually work with an unlimited number of domains in Ahrefs. Verification involves inserting some code on your site, adding a record to your domain name settings, or connecting a Search Console account to Ahrefs. So the tool with the most generous project limits is Ahrefs. Reporting Limits when it comes to how many reports you can pull as part of your monthly subscription, it's a hands down win for SEMrush. Its entry level plan lets you pull a whopping 3000 reports per day, while Moz's equivalent plan lets you run just 150 keyword queries and 5000 backlink queries per month. But both SEMrush and Moz are considerably more generous than Ahrefs here, because Ahrefs caps the number of reports you can pull on its entry level plan at a very ungenerous 500 per month. Ahrefs' approach to reporting limits is probably our biggest concern about the tool in fact, because it makes bigger SEO projects much harder and more expensive to work on than its competitors. Overall, the tool with the most generous reporting limits is, without question, SEMrush. Rank Tracking Of the three products, Ahrefs Rank Tracker is the most generous. Its entry level plan lets you track 750 target keywords, while SEMrush's equivalent plan limits you to 500 and Moz's 300. It's a similar situation on more expensive plans, Ahrefs remains the more generous tool. Not only that, but the position tracking that Ahrefs offers is the most granular in nature. You can track rankings not just by country, as is the case in SEMrush and Moz, but by locality too, town, city and so on. However, it's important to note that by default, Moz and Ahrefs only give you ranking reports on a weekly basis. You can get daily rank tracking reports from Ahrefs, but you'll have to pay quite a lot extra per month for them. By contrast, SEMrush lets you track rankings on a daily basis without issue, and without any extra charges being involved. So when it comes to rank tracking, I'd say it's a draw between Ahrefs and SEMrush. User Account Limits When it comes to how many users can access these tools at once, Moz is unique among the three in bundling multiple seats with its plans. It gives you between 2 and 5 user accounts on its most expensive plans. With Ahrefs and SEMrush, if you want to let more users access your account, there is no choice but to pay for more seats, with quite expensive add-on fees applying even on their most expensive subscriptions. This means that the best tool for multiple user access is Moz. Backlink Database Size 
Backlinks are links from other sites to your content, and Google effectively treats backlinks like votes, rewarding sites that have a lot of high quality links pointing to them with higher rankings. So knowing who's linking to your competitors is important, because you can target the same or similar sites with backlink requests. Hrefs, Moz and SEMrush all store this kind of information in their backlink databases, and according to the three companies' own published figures, SEMrush's backlink database is the largest. It boasts 43 trillion backlinks to Moz's 40.7 trillion and Hrefs 35 trillion. This doesn't mean that SEMrush will always surface the largest number of backlinks, but based on our tests, we've generally found SEMrush's output here to be the most comprehensive. So the winner when it comes to backlink database size is currently SEMrush. Traffic estimates. A key application of SEO tools is using them to get an estimate of how many visits a competing website is getting each month and which of its pages are most popular. This can help with reverse engineering popular content or coming up with content ideas for your own site. Ahrefs and SEMrush both beat Moz here because they offer traffic estimates, while Moz doesn't. Search Intent Data A key thing that differentiates SEMrush from Moz and Ahrefs is its provision of really good search intent data. When you are given a list of keyword suggestions in SEMrush, each keyword is accompanied by a search intent label that lets you know whether a suggested phrase is informational, navigational, commercial, or transactional. SEMrush lets you filter keyword suggestions using these labels, which makes it a lot easier to ignore irrelevant keywords. In terms of how the other two tools approach search intent data, Moz doesn't give you any. As for Ahrefs, it recently introduced an Identify Intents tool, which gives you a bit of context about why a user might be searching for something. But the information provided is rather vague, and you can't filter your results in any meaningful way using it. So overall, it's a win for SEMrush here. Historical data. Historical data helps you analyze long-term trends in website performance and understand the impact of search engine algorithm updates. It also helps you identify which SEO strategies have been effective over time. Of the three products being discussed here, SEMrush gives you the most historical data. You can use it to access information from 2012 to the present day. Ahrefs' equivalent feature covers 2015 to the present day, and Moz only gives you access to a few months of historical data. It's also worth noting that Ahrefs only provides unlimited access to its historical data on its $999 enterprise plan. So overall, the best tool for accessing historical data with is SEMrush. Content Marketing Tools In nearly all cases, Effective SEO boils down to how good your content is, so having some features that help you create high-quality content in your SEO tool can be invaluable. SEMrush gives you a comprehensive set of content marketing tools, but only if you're on its $249 per month guru plan or higher. If you are, you can make use of its content marketing platform, which gives you access to a topic research tool, content templates, an AI writing assistant, and an on-page SEO checker. There's nothing really comparable on offer from either Moz or Ahrefs, but Ahrefs does give you a Content Explorer feature that lets you discover and analyze top performing content in your niche. Overall, however, the tool with the best content marketing features is SEMrush. Site Auditing An SEO site audit helps you identify issues that might be having a negative effect on your search rankings. These typically include things like broken links slow pages, duplicate content, and crawl errors. Ahrefs and SEMrush both give you similar quality site audit tools that highlight just about any technical SEO issue you can think of. Moz's is much less comprehensive, however. Overall, though, I'd argue that SEMrush's site audit tool comes out on top. There are a couple of reasons for this. First, it doesn't just focus on technical issues. It gives you suggestions on how you can improve your content, too. Second, it lets you send any problem it finds to a CRM or project management tool. This makes it easier to stay on top of site health and address any problems found in a more structured way. 
So when it comes to site auditing, we'd say that the best SEO platform of the three being discussed is SEMrush, but with Ahrefs coming in a close second. PPC Data So far in this comparison, I've looked at features that relate to organic search results, but some users will want to get data on pay-per-click PPC results too. The good news for SEMrush and Ahrefs users is that PPC data is provided by both these tools. None, however, is available from Moz. In terms of the quality and quantity of the PPC data provided by Ahrefs and SEMrush, it's fair to say that SEMrush wins on both counts. Its dedicated Advertising Research section gives you access to a host of PPC advertising metrics for domains, including paid-for keywords, ad positions, competitors, ad campaign history, and much more. The PPC data supplied by Ahrefs is useful but more limited. You get to see the paid keywords used to advertise a domain, headlines for the ads displayed, and the landing pages used in PPC campaigns. So overall, we'd say that the best option for PPC research is SEMrush. Customer support. When it comes to support, SEMrush offers the most channels, providing customer service via phone, email, and live chat. Ahrefs offers support via email and live chat, and Moz's support is email only. As for online support material, all three platforms provide searchable help portals containing a wide variety of articles and videos. However, SEMrush's is available in multiple languages, while Ahrefs and Moz's are English only. So the tool offering the most comprehensive support is SEMrush. Pricing and value for money. Ahrefs, Moz and SEMrush all have similar pricing ranges. All offer non-enterprise plans that range in price from around $99 to $599 per month. In the video description, you'll find links to the latest pricing for each platform. Although these pricing ranges seem fairly similar, it's really important to note that the functionality you get on each plan varies enormously. When it comes to how much data can be accessed, the hands-down winner is SEMrush. It gives you much more of it. The reporting limits are considerably more generous than those of Ahrefs and Moz, especially so where Ahrefs is concerned. While the SEMrush entry-level plan lets you pull 3,000 reports per day, you are limited to just 500 per month on the Ahrefs entry-level plan. As for how many projects can be facilitated, there's not a huge amount in it, but SEMrush and Ahrefs arguably both beat Moz, because their entry-level plans facilitate five projects, while Moz's restricts you to three. And, as we discussed earlier, Ahrefs technically lets you work with an unlimited number of verified domains, giving it a unique selling point in the context of this comparison. With regard to the number of search engines that are supported, it's a clear win for Ahrefs. It provides data for nine of them, while Moz and SEMrush basically just cater for Google. As for user accounts, Moz is probably the best value product here because, unlike SEMrush and Ahrefs, it bundles multiple seats with plans and has a simple flat fee option for adding more. Free trial availability. Given that the monthly fees for Ahrefs, Moz and SEMrush are considerable, you're probably wondering if there's a free trial available for them. In the case of Moz and SEMrush, the answer is yes, but unfortunately, Ahrefs doesn't provide one. It does provide free access to some cutdown versions of its tools though. In terms of trial length, Moz's trial is more generous than SEMrush's, lasting 30 days, while SEMrush's lasts just 7. However, SEMrush occasionally makes longer trials available. In the video description, you'll find a special link to a double-length SEMrush trial. But overall, the tool with the longest free trial is Moz. Wrapping up to wrap things up, I'd say that ultimately, Ahrefs and SEMrush are considerably stronger products than Moz, and worthy of more serious consideration as your SEO tool. There is a lot to like about Moz, and if it was priced more keenly than SEMrush and Ahrefs, there would be an argument for using it instead of them. But the reality is that it offers a lot less functionality and data than its competitors, but at a very similar price point. When deciding between Ahrefs and SEMrush, I'd focus on two things. How much data you need each month, and how many projects you'll need to work on. If you think you're going to need to pull a lot of SEO data, 
then SEMrush is definitely the better value tool. Its reporting limits are much more generous than Ahrefs, and its PPC research features are much stronger than the Ahrefs equivalents too. But if you need to work with lots of website projects, then Ahrefs can be the better bet, because it lets you work with an unlimited number of verified domains. Just watch out for the reporting limits. So, I hope you've enjoyed this Ahrefs vs Moz vs SEMrush shootout. There's a lot more to learn about these tools however, so do read our blog post comparing the three platforms. This contains an even deeper dive into how they compare. You'll find a link to this and other SEO resources in the video description. If you'd like to try any of these tools out, you'll find links to their free trials in the video description too. To get all our latest SEO resources, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell. And finally, if you have any questions about Ahrefs, Moz or SEMrush, do drop them in the comments. We read them all and we'll do our best to help.